everybody welcome at abhimanyu is the leader in the preparation for the upsc and state civil services examinations which has produced so far more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years from its beginning in 1999 mera naam dr h s siddhu hai main abhimanyu is mein international relations and indian economy teach karta hu i have been mentoring the upsc and state civil services aspirants for more than 15 years and i have authored many books also for the civil services exam preparation so before moving ahead let me share an important information with you at abhimanyu is we are commencing fresh batches for the upsc and state civil services preliminary and main examination targeting 2020 2023 24 this will be a one year program and will be available through offline and uh, online mode and uh, we are providing 7 days free trial class also if you want to join that class you may click on the link given in the description and join now at abhimanyu is we have launched an extremely valuable series related with the concepts is series mein hamare different faculty members apne apne subject se related important concepts ko discuss karte hain mera ye personal view hai ka this is a very innovative and important initiative by abhimanyu is because a good understanding or better understanding of the concepts make you create a better grip on a subject which is significant for producing good answers in the upsc and state civil services main examinations and attempting the answers in a right way in the preliminary examination also so aaj main jo topic aapke sath discuss karne ja raha hu wo international politics and relations se related topic hai so name of the topic is balance of पावर सो so, ये काफ़ी आपने सुना होगा बैलेंस ऑफ पावर काफ़ी न्यूज़ में आर्टिकल्स में आता रहता है सो so, आज हम इस लेक्चर में ये देखेंगे कि बैलेंस ऑफ पावर एक्चुअल में क्या है राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन सो यू कैन सी दिस इमेज चाइना एंड द यू एस एंड यू कैन सी दिस इमेज ऑल्सो स्पेन एंड फ्रांस एंड हॉलैंड एंड इंग्लैंड सो दिस इमेज show the balance of uh, power okay so this is there so now some examples in 1882 italy joined the dual alliance between germany and austria hungary to make it a triple alliance okay so 1882 se pehle जर्मनी एंड ऑस्ट्रिया हंगरी के बीच एक डुअल अलायंस चल रहा था और इटली ने उस अलायंस को ज्वाइन किया एंड दैट अलायंस बिकेम ए ट्रिपल अलायंस देन ओके सो द पर्पज ऑफ इटली टू ज्वाइन वाज दैट टू बैलेंस फ्रांस इन द रीजन टू होम इटली हैज लॉस्ट इट्स नॉर्थ अफ्रीकन एम्बिशन ओके सो इटली का पर्पज था इस अलायंस को ज्वाइन करना दैट वॉज टू बैलेंस द rising power of uh, france in the region so that was the purpose of italy similarly in 1949 the us led military alliance nato uh, north atlantic treaty organization was formed to balance the ussr in the world and to deter soviet expansion okay so at that time us and the various countries allied to the us were uh, smelling the threat from the expansion of the ussr and that is why they formed a nato group uh, so that is a uh, security alliance you can say and uh, similarly another alliance from the ussr to create the balance was uh, created that is that was known as the warsaw pact which is not uh, relevant nowadays after the disintegration of the ussr okay and uh, similarly in 2007 the quad was formed to balance china in the indo pacific region and to deter china's expansion so quad was formed in 2007 and was reestablished in 2017 okay so now what is balance of power okay so you can uh, see 
some more examples now AUKUS is there that is to create the balance of power and uh, in the wake of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict also many Western countries are supporting Ukraine by imposing very severe economic sanctions against Russia and uh, that is also to create a balance of power the formation of the AUKUS now and the Indo-Pacific economic framework also so these are the various examples to create the balance of uh, power you can say okay and uh, uh, India's growing association with the US is also an example of uh, India's intention to create a balance of power in this uh, region okay in the wake of uh, the growing size of the China okay so what is balance of power balance of power is a strategy that is exercised by various countries to secure their survival and promote their national interests by making alliances with other states okay so balance of power ko states ki foreign policies mein foreign relations mein hum ek strategy ke taur pe lete hain jiska purpose kya hota hai kisi country ke liye apni survival ko secure karna ya fir apne national interest ko promote karna jiske liye एक कंट्री दूसरे कंट्रीज के साथ अलायंसेस करता है ओके सो ये बैलेंस ऑफ पावर होती है इट हेल्प्स इन क्रिएटिंग एन इक्वली वेरियम बिटवीन राइवल ग्रुप्स ऑन द इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म सो बैलेंस ऑफ पावर के जरिए इन एन अटेम्प्ट टू क्रिएट ए बैलेंस ऑफ पावर सो द वेरियस राइवल ग्रुप्स यू कैन से ट्राई टू क्रिएट एन इक्वली वेरियम ऑन द इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म it seeks to ensure a degree of stability compared to a system in which hegemonic power could dominate its weaker neighbors okay jaise aaj hum china ka case le rahe hain right china ko hum aise dekh rahe hain ki china is a hegemonic power which is dominating the interests or dominating its weaker neighbors nowadays by its debt trap diplomacy okay so now that is why uh, to ensure a degree of stability in the week in the wake of uh, china's growing intentions to dominate its weaker neighbors through its uh, debt trap diplomacy okay so the various countries are coming together and the us is coming to play role in the region okay so that is in the wake of the balance of power we can say to create a balance of power so it is one of the core principles of international relations its purpose is to create an international order where power is balanced in such a way that uh, nations avoid aggression out of fear of a forceful retaliation so jaise maine pehle bhi baat ki hai ke balance of power create karna ek strategic initiative hota hai different powers ka okay सो so, ये इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस में एक कोर प्रिंसिपल है इसका पर्पस एक ऐसा इंटरनेशनल ऑर्डर क्रिएट करना है जहां पावर को इस तरीके से बैलेंस किया जाता है कि कोई दूसरा जो पावर ग्रुप है वो अग्रेसिव ना हो क्योंकि उसको ये डर रहे कि सामने की तरफ से भी फोर्सफुल रिटेलिएशन होगा अगर हम ऐसा करते हैं तो ओके okay? सो दिस इज़ द पॉइंट जैसे अगर हम नेटो की बात करें तो कोई भी कंट्री जल्दी जल्दी नेटो मेंबर के ऊपर अटैक नहीं करेगा बिकॉज एवरी कंट्री नोज दैट इफ इट इनिशिएट्स एन अटैक ऑन ए नेटो मेंबर देन द एंटायर नेटो ग्रुप विल कम यू कैन से इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद दैट कंट्री इन ए डायरेक्ट मैनर and uh, that would be extremely difficult to face such a big group of nato countries so this is what the purpose of the balance of power is there okay so british school hai jo uski balance of power ke upar depiction kya hai wo kya bolte hain wo kehte hain ki it is a manually operated system balance of power ek manually operated system hai wherein the process of equilibrium is a human contrivance yahan equilibrium natural nahi hota equilibrium ko human beings aate hain 
uh, you can say they create the equilibrium they try to create the equilibrium in a conscious manner with emphasis on the skill of diplomats and statesmen diplomats apna role play karte hain statesmen apna apna role play karte hain a sense of community of nations a community of nations develop hoti hai share response shared responsibility develop hoti hai and a desire and need to preserve the balance of power system aur sabhi members mein ek desire hoti hai aur ek need bhi hoti hai us balance of power system ko preserve karne ke liye okay so isme do teen important points hain jo hum dekh rahe hain okay so one is it is a manually operated system okay one point is that and uh, second it is a process of equilibrium okay is a it is a human contrivance okay with emphasis on the skill of diplomats and uh, statesmen and uh, all the members have a sense of community of nations okay a shared responsibility and a desire and need to preserve the balance of power system so these are the some important points in this okay according to the depiction on balance of power of the british school okay so this is the important thing here to discuss so balance of power how is it maintained so on number 1 preservation of national sovereignty okay so a country tries to preserve its national sovereignty and with a view to that a country makes alliances with different countries and uh, this helps in uh, creating and maintaining a balance of power in different regions or uh, on the international platform also okay contained conflicts by uh, basically kya hai ki hum balance of power create karte hain maintain karte hain conflicts ko contain karne ke liye okay जैसे क्या है कि यू कैन से मैनी कंट्रीज विच आर द नेबर्स द इमीडिएट और फार नियर नेबर्स ऑफ रशिया नाउ इट इज दे आर ट्राइंग टू एंटर इन टू द नेटो सींग द रशियन अग्रेशन अगेंस्ट यूक्रेन ओके एंड सिमिलरली वॉट इज दे आर सो वाई दीज कंट्रीज आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ज्वाइनिंग नेटो because they want to contain the conflict with russia in the days to come because agar ukraine ab nato ka member hota to puri ki puri nato forces ne ukraine ke sath uh, directly aakar ke you can say uh, uh, you can say russia ko confront karna tha aur russia ne perhaps dare bhi nahi karna tha ukraine ke upar attack karne ke liye and this is the point okay and uh, that is there and then limited retaliation okay so balance of power hum isliye bhi create karte hain ki hum kisi country ki jo retaliation hai hum usko restrict kar sake usko hum limit kar sake because that country will think before retaliating that on the other side also there is a very strong group and there is a very strong you can say power block okay which uh, may retaliate in a more severe manner right if it retaliates so that is the point there and the strong military alliances are also made for example nato and uh, the, then the previous warsaw pact which has now become irrelevant after the disintegration of the ussr and some countries go for the trade diplomacy also to create the balance of power like the china is doing that okay so that is there and uh, then through various diplomatic efforts also the balance of power is being uh, created okay so balance of power fir ultimately kya ho gaya ke jab koi bhi countries ya group of countries apne interests ko promote karne ke liye ya apni sovereignty ko bachane ke liye kisi dusre countries ke sath apne पार्टनरशिप में कोऑपरेशन में अलायसेस में जाते हैं ओके तो सो दैट उनका जो ऑपोजिट ग्रुप है उसको काउंटर वेट किया जा सके सो so, इस चीज़ को हम बैलेंस ऑफ पावर क्रिएट करना कहते हैं क्लियर इसकी एग्जांपल हमने नेटो देखा इन uh, 1949 इट वाज फॉर्म्ड वाई इन द वेक ऑफ द 
expansion of the USSR, which was perceived as a threat by the Western countries. So that was there. And in retaliation, the USSR also came with the Warsaw Pact, which has now become irrelevant. And now uh, to create a counterweight to China, India is uh, taking side with the US, okay, because uh, uh, it is important for India to create a balance of power in this region and uh, formation of the Quad is there. That is also an example of uh, creation of a balance of power to counter China in this region. Okay? And similarly, in the wake of uh, Taiwan's tensions with uh, this People's Republic of China, uh, Taiwan's tilt towards the US and uh, in the wake of the growing aggression of China, US support to Taiwan. So this is a best example of the balance of power. And the very recent formation of the I2U2, that is India, Israel, UAE and US group, which is known as the Western Quad also. So the purpose of this to create a counterweight to Iran in the region. And similarly, now the formation of the AUKUS is also there, right? That is Australia, UK and uh, US security partnership. And the purpose of this is also to create a counterweight to China in the Indo-Pacific region. Malabar exercise can also be seen in this uh, respect, you can say. That is also an initiative first by the India and the US, then Japan joined and then Australia has joined it. So that is also to provide a counterweight to China. Okay, so these are the very beautiful examples of the balance of power uh, which you can see uh, practically in today's world. Okay, so ultimate power of uh, purpose of the balance of power is to provide a counterweight to some you can say heavyweight country or heavyweight uh, group of countries, okay, so that uh, the rest of the countries may contain the aggressive behavior or may uh, contain their, you can say, hegemony, okay, in the region or on the international platform in that scenario. So this was all about the balance of power. I hope the concept will be clear to you. So thank you very much. All the best, stay healthy, stay happy, and very soon I will be before you again with a new concept. So bye till now, till then, and uh, make the best utilization of the time available with you. God bless you all. Thank you very much again. Thank you.